Attention all pilots. Free flight in five hey, minutes. Hey, Tiny, you better hurry up. Yes, sir. Kids, breakfast is on you. Your mom's at the gunnery range. Darla, honey, stop by the PX after school and get some milk, some eggs, and oh, get a can of 1040 oil. about Leonard, he's probably already there. Leonard, are you up? Since the crack of dawn, Mom. Well, you'd better hurry or you'll be late for school. School. School! Leonard, did you clean up your room like your father told you? Clean? As part of your punishment for driving the automatic lawnmower through General Newmeyer's Rose Garden? Remember? Mother, Mother, this room is immaculate. You, you can perform major surgery in here. Uh-huh. Can I take a pee? Uh, must we spoil such a magic moment, Mother? I'd like to save it to be a surprise for all of us. All right, dear. Breakfast is on the table. Breakfast is ready, hon. I'm late. I'll get it out of the mess hall. All right, Kinsey. Let's go catch some waves. Stanley? Here. Kinsey, Leonard. Present! So good of you to join us, Mr. Kinsey. To what do you owe the pleasure of your company? I wouldn't miss this for the world, Mr. Foster. <laughs> You're really pushing your homeroom today, Leonard. Negative. I got it covered. Leonard, when you bring heat on yourself, you bring heat on all of the Brat Patrol. We've been together for two years, and the place finally feels like home. Why blow it now? Take a fizzy, McGeorge. You know the rules. You make life what you can, and then you drift. Hey, Leonard, wait up. You gotta make a pit stop. Hey, what do you know? Looks like a couple of the Brat Patrollers just headed into the can. Alone. 
Let's go pay our respects, Will. What do you mean you don't think your folks are gonna let you go? It's gonna be educational for Pete's sake. Leonard, the Roller Devils Crashathon is not considered educational. Of course it is. It's a study in human sociology. It's a meeting of rival factions of mankind colliding on a field of common ground. And I do mean colliding. Oh, great trouble at six o'clock. Well, look what we found, guys. A couple of brat patrollers playing in the sink. We were just leaving. Not so fast. We got some serious talking to do. About what? About the order of things, Kinsey. You know, this base used to be under control until you clowns showed up. So we figured it's just about time to get back to basics. Starting with this year's upcoming youth service award. Never heard of it. Sure, yeah. It's the annual award given to the most outstanding group of young people on base, usually for doing some incredible acts of goodwill in the community. I don't sweat it, Newmeyer. You guys got it wired. Yeah, well, that's what we thought last year. Until you worm showed up and threw the tennis tourney for the Blind Children's Society. And gave that hokey speech about universal brotherhood and helping your fellow man. You guys ended up winning the award. Beginner's luck. Well, we just want to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Because we're going to take this year's award. Brat Patrol or no Brat Patrol? Let me guess. You guys are giving a CPR class at the county morgue. Wrong, Wiseacre! You see... The Junior Marines is on a humanitarian offensive. We're gonna blow the socks off this base with incredible acts of benevolence. We can't wait. I'm talking warmth and kindness to the 10th degree, Kenzie. So stay out of our way. You guys are dead meat. <laughs> Gee, that's a lovely start. I mean it. We're putting you in the Brat Patrol on notice. Your breath is wrinkling in my shirt, Newmeyer. Now back off before I call a dry cleaner. You know, I would love to stay and chat with you guys, but the boys and I are late for an afternoon dip at the officers' club swimming pool. You know the place, Kinsey. The one that's off limits to you. See you in Flair. Come on, boys. Let's get wet. Really? It's Mr. Wimps to you. They can't do that to us. Can they do that? They just did. They declared open season on the Brat Patrol. Better summons our people. You don't mean. on this time. Don't talk back to me. Well, are you with us? So what gives, Leonard? I'm missing a chem lecture at the university. Let alone little league practice. It's gonna have to wait, guys. We got some problems. We always got problems. Yeah, but this time we got older ones. Oh, no, not the junior grunts again. That's right, Bug. Chuck Newmeyer and his goony birds are leaning on us in a major way. Thinks just because his dad is general on the base that he can push us around. No! We've been pushed around all our lives, moved from base to base, school to school, friend to friend, and by some chance, some twist of fate, we've ended up here, side by side, to form the Brat Patrol. 
to stick together through thick and thin and to alleviate boredom, no matter what the consequences. Well, so what are we gonna do? There's only one thing to do. <gasps> That's right, guys. We're talking pool party. Yeah. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Why'd you bring the kid? Had to. The folks get suspicious when I don't. Hope he can handle the pressure. This is heaven. Yeah, the core's a great way of life, Whittle. Thought after this, we'd be down and uh, catch some quick PT at the weight room. <sighs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, uh, waiter. Can we uh, have another round of beers here, please? Yes, sir. Thanks. Hello, right. <laughs> Seen better fakes from two-year-olds. That's 14-year-olds, so show some respect, Pop. <laughs> Your root beer, sir. Uh-huh. All right, just put them on my father's tab, huh? Quim. <laughs> so now what do we do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Sounds familiar. familiar. Will you guys cut me some slack? Ho. Oh. Up, up. I got the water. I'm gonna turn this bowl into one giant soda pop. Hit the H2O, my George. Hey, hold it steady. Fizzy bomb too. doing right now. Probably reading some comic books. Assume defensive positions and take cover. Get new fire. Good shot, bud. Thank <laughs> you. 
Afternoon, General. Uh, this way, sir. Um, I trust everything is in order for <clears throat> Assistant Secretary of Defense at Woods Luncheon? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Splendid. You'll be inspecting the base this weekend and presenting the Youth Service Awards. I want everything ship shape. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's everything out there? Just beautiful, General. What's the meaning of this? Dad! Dad! I, I mean, General, sir! Take cover! We're under attack! Chuck! <laughs> Code 3! I'm gonna have your height for this! Come on, you guys, run! Look at escape vehicle! Hey, I'll drive! <laughs> Let's roll! We Day, sir. I don't care how hard it is. I want those kids punished. Well, they're, they're basically a group of good kids, sir. No, General, I did not see your golf cart. Can you give me a brief description of it? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Hey. General, uh. I'll look into this personally. Three hits. Not a bad day's work. I usually shoot down six in a mission. So. What brings you to this neck of the deck, Major? Rumor has that a group of kids raided the officers' club today. Threw a little pool party without proper clearance. The general asked me to look into it. Is that a fact? Did he get a good look at them? Not really. It seems a wave of water hit him in the mug before he could make positive ID. They also ran off in his golf cart. Probably the Russians. <laughs> Those Cossacks will do anything for a laugh. Yeah. General seems to think the Brat Patrol was involved. What do you think, Major? Sounds like their M.O. Loud, reckless, a lot of unnecessary giggling. Pretty serious stuff, Leonard. Newmeyer has been on our backs ever since somebody released those hamsters at that officer's banquet. Well, can you blame him? It took two weeks to get him out of the air conditioning ducts. I know. We got stuck with the job. That was a bum rap, Major Hackett. Somebody had to take the fall, Leonard. And what do you know about this pool party? <laughs> Sounds like some kids got wet. Yeah, so did the general. He's very concerned. Thinks maybe you kids would be happy if you were separated. But I might be able to talk him out of it. He seems to want to help you kids, provided you bring back the golf cart. Now, I've discussed it with your folks. We've come up with an alternative plan. Great. You may have to pull some community service. I'll cut us some slack, Major. It's either that or Newmeyer can call your parents personally. Kiss El Diablo Air Station goodbye. You know, it's tough being a kid, Major. Try being a cop. Oh, yeah. By the way, we've been getting some complaints about a sidewalk surfer who's been breaking the speed limit. If you see him, tell him to slow down. Simplify, Leonard. There's some more paint. Are we done yet? I don't need any help, thank you, sir. Good deed, number 76. 
Don's Junior Marines. All this for a measly dip in a swimming pool. You're not kidding. Interesting. Appears to be a fairly advanced sedimentary specimen from the Precambrian period. Don't analyze it, Bug. Just paint it. Hey, Leonard, did you give us a hand? Yeah, I really liked you guys, but I'm the paint monitor. We're only allowed to stir the paint. But you're always the paint monitor. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Don't look now, guys, but here comes trouble. Oh, great. Just what we need. Uh, just ignore those bozos. Well, well. If it isn't the Brat Patrol. Looks like you guys are out of competition. What competition? Cool with the camouflage, Bug. I'm taking that trophy back. Yo, why don't you go play tag with some parked cars, OK, Newmeyer? Oh, that's real cute, Kinsey. Too bad the joke's on you and the Brat Patrol. Word's out all over the base. You guys are history. Yeah? You better check your sources, because the word is wrong. I have, hotshot. See, my dad and everyone else on base is getting ready for Secretary Atwood's visit this weekend. You guys are persona non grata. You know what that means? You're a baboon? How about that? Wimpy can talk. Yeah, well, he's trained to spot fools. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kinsey, you've always got something real smart to say. I'm starting to get a little steamed. Well, yeah? Then why don't you cool off? They're what? What is hell? You guys want to be stones? Hold your ground, man. <laughs> that always squeak. Chuck. Hey, chill out, my George. Kinsey, one day I'm going to bump into you, and you don't have these nerds here to back you up. Nerds? Hold on, bug. Now, if you guys don't want to be uncommon denominators, you better just back off, OK? Sometimes you go too far. <sighs> My helmet. Man, that was close. Thanks, guys. I could have gotten real ugly. Lemon, do we have to paint any more rocks? No, big guy. Good. Another rock again, it'll be too soon. Yeah, now I know what prison's like. You break rocks in prison, in it, bug. you don't paint them. Unit 719, this is Eagle's Nest. Come in. Yo, dudes, what was that? Unit 719, this is Eagle's Nest. Do you read? Come in, 719. Whoa, check out this MP there. Yeah, I wonder what it's doing way out here. And there's not an MP in sight. They're not supposed to leave their vehicles unattended. Maybe you went to the bathroom. Bug. This is Eagle's Nest. conjecture. Roger, Eagle's Nest. This is Unit 719er. Read you loud and clear. Lock in, 719er. It's a voice activated playback device? What a good fake out. Radical. 719er requesting a security check for proper code, name, and voice tone. Over. Affirmative, Eagle's Nest. This is MP Unit 719er in Sector K26. Code name for this hour is Desert Pup. Security number Delta Bravo Sierra 26118. Roger, Unit 719er, security check complete. Eagle's Nest out. Well, that was weird. Perplexing. I haven't heard that many numbers since my trig exam last semester. This is too funky. I'm gonna take a look around. How about that warehouse over there? Yeah, good idea. Keep down.
on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Where you been? Hey, what's it to you? You know those guys? Never seen them before in my life. Well, that one guy's definitely not a Marine. Something's rotten in Denmark. I'm going in for a closer look. Leonard, that could be dangerous. I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing. You guys wait here. I'm going with him. No, you don't. Not without us. Wait for me. All right. What do you got for me this time? Surprise. Hey, my boss don't like surprises, OK? But he's going to like these. Only top quality stuff. What is this? What do you mean, what is this? PRC-70. It's what you wanted. Shh. It's your luck. <laughs> You cover us down here, Squeak. Darn. These are just old field radios. I'm interested in the high-tech stuff. I can get these for a dime a dozen. Where's the digital message device groups? Oh, DMDGs. We're talking high-tech radios. You playing games with me, Jarhead? Oh, just relax, knife. Okay, I'll get them to you as soon as I can. As soon as you can ain't good enough. My boss wants them yesterday, and if I don't get them, I'm gonna be swimming with the sharks off Coronado. And I hate sharks. They make me real nervous. Yeah, well, me too, knife. I can't move too quickly. There's security all over this face. Look, let's get something straight. If I don't get the device groups, not only am I shark bait, but you're the appetizer. <clears throat> OK. OK, I'll get you the DMDGs by Sunday. Sunday? Secretary Atwood's going to be visiting the base on Sunday. I don't care. Just get him. Or you're going to be kissing cousins with a hammerhead. <sighs> She's a beauty, huh? 300 apiece. <laughs> no, you said six. <laughs> Four. Done. What's that? Check it out. Yes, sir. And Harry, you check out back. Don't see nothing, boss. <laughs> what are you guys so nervous about? I got things covered. Just uh, let's just all take it easy, OK? People who take it easy in this business don't last very long, Phillips. Harry, what are you doing just standing there? Get out back. Move. Stepped on a burrito. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay, boss, all loaded. Been nice doing business with you, Phillips. 
I'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs> What's the matter, Phillips? Don't you trust me? <laughs> Squeaker? You always say that. I don't know who those clowns are, but I'd say someone's ripping off the Marine Corps. What should we do? Well, let's go to General Neumeyer. Yeah, he'll probably give us a medal for this. It didn't. What do you mean by that? He means we struck out totally. Neumeyer didn't believe him? They wouldn't even let us see him because they said he was too busy getting ready for Secretary Atwood's visit. Nobody listens to kids. Hey, Amy, George, what about you? What'd your parents say? They told me to stop reading comic books. Mine, too. My dad told me to stick to baseball. That means we're sunk. Not yet, it doesn't, big guy. Take a good look at Mr. Life Jacket. Come on, guys. I figured your youth and inexperience in these matters would compromise our mission. So? So I went to my dad, told him the whole ugly little story. You did? And he believed you? Well, what can I say, guys? The man worships me. In fact, he's in talking to Major Hackett right now. <laughs> Should be only a matter of minutes till we're nominated for a congressional commendation. I've got to see this, Leonard. Ow! Nice to in, Gunny. No problem. OK, Gunny, Bye what's now. the story? Try not to act too surprised. They don't want to fly us to Washington, OK? It's kind of complicated. Just give it to me straight. Major, we are doing everything we can think of to discourage Leonard's vivid imagination. I'm well aware of that, and so is General Neumeyer. That's why he's considering removing your family from the base if you can't control your son. Controlling Leonard, Major, is like trying to bottle a hurricane. Still, you have to try. And please, have a talk with them about those espionage stories. In fact, I'm calling all the Brat Patrol parents and advising them to do the same thing. Now, I need not tell you, Gunny, that the general is getting fed up. Say no more, Major. I'll make sure Leonard behaves if I have to ground him for a month. <gasps> so much for your dad helping us. That's right, guys. Great. Nobody believes us. What we need is some proof. What kind of proof? Hmm, a spotted sea or a salamander. I didn't think they roamed this far south. Bug, I'm tracking thieves, not lizards. I'm really tired, you guys. You hear that, Leonard? The kid's fading. There's nothing out here but blisters. Are you okay, McGeorge? Well, you, you wanted hard evidence, McGeorge. I'd say you got it. Great. Now, will you help me up, Leonard? I feel like a waffle down here. That was a big one, all right. Yeah, maybe even wide enough to drive a car through. Or a van. What do you got, Bug? Appears to be the standard fence line dupe currently in use along our southern borders. Can you give me an ETE? Judging by the oxidation marks, I'd say this has been used a number of times. It's not the first, Leonard. Darla, how about tire tracks? Negative, Leonard. What do you think? Strictly professional. This has been going on for months. I'd say there must be three or four more on the outside. Yeah, but who's the inside guy? Good point, kid. Anybody get a good look at him? Sure, he was a redhead guy about 6'2". No, that's 5'11", Darla, with dark hair. Not quite, Bug. He was six even with blonde hair. No way, McGeorge. He was short and fat with a mustache. We're in great shape, guys. All we got to do is find a short redhead with blonde eyebrows and a dark mustache, possibly 20 pounds overweight. Should be a cinch.
Knight, telephone. Yeah, uh, we got trouble. What kind of trouble? Kid trouble. That's your department, Phillips. Get rid of them. Hey, what? Hello? Ow, wait! Oh, you gotta believe us! I'm talking major proof! Yeah, like your Bigfoot sightings and encounters with the UFOs last year? Major hacky, please! Brat's honor! Uh. Sir. You're going to love this, Major Hackett. It's right over here. What's over there? This is weird. I don't get it. What's going on? Huh? OK, what's up, Leonard? I don't believe this. It was here this morning. Kenzie, if this is another one of your pranks. It isn't, Major. He's telling the truth. This fence line was phony. It had a hole big enough to drive a van through. Yeah? I don't see any tire tracks. Well, the thieves must cover them up. And what about the fence, huh? It was cut, I swear it. This is base property, boys. If this fence was cut, somebody would have reported it. That's just it, Major. Somebody didn't. <sighs> Leonard, I want to believe you, boys. I really do. But I don't see any proof. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. We're up to something. Call a board meeting. Thanks for coming today on such short notice, gentlemen. I know that some of you are missing judo practice to be here. We've got trouble. You don't mean the Brat Patrol again. Precisely. We are talking about a group of kids that has no values, no concept of duty or purpose that only have one goal in life. To have fun. Now they're trying to take the Youth Service Award away from us. For the second year in a row. But we want it back. They're not going to pull it off. Because we've compiled a list of such immense charity that it brings tears to my eyes just to read it. Demonstrated once again that we're not just nice. We're super. There are only two days left, gentlemen. Two days until the awards ceremony. Intelligence indicates the Brat Patrol is launching a major offensive. Whittle, you to form a junior life saving class. Get those kids involved. And I want their mothers to see it. Sure thing, Chuck. Mason? You and some other men go to the local old folks' home. Look, feed their pets. Empty their trash. Look, oil their wheelchairs. I don't care. I want to see kindness, gentlemen. Rat Patrol wants to play dirty? We'll play dirtier. Look, we've tried to go through proper channels with this thing, but we've been shut down. So what are we going to do? Simple. The Rat Patrol is going to catch the crooks in the act. Time out, Leonard. Catching crooks is not as easy as snaring bullfrogs down at Deadman's Creek. I mean, it could be dangerous. Dangerous? We've never shirked from danger before. But we're just kids. Not just kids, McGeorge. Brat patrollers sworn by secret oath to uphold truth, justice, and the calamity of reckless youth. Without us, this place would be boring. Yeah. Ugh. Darla, I want you to get that vehicle's ID number. See if you can find out exactly who was on duty that day. Gotcha. 
bug. Hit the data processing center. Get to the computer and see if you can run a make on that 82 van. Take Squeak as a cover. All right. Right. But it's illegal. It's for a good cause. And when you quit fooling around with that thing, this is serious. Right. We'll be grounded for life. So if you get into any trouble, use these. Wow, chocolate grenades. We haven't used these since you dropped them in front of the big line at the movie theater. We got in free, didn't we? Hey, cool it with the ammo, Squeak. All right, McGeorge, you're sticking with me. Do I have to? Yes, you do. We gotta get to that warehouse and find out how many DMDGs are missing. Not the security warehouse. The one that's totally off limits. That's the one. I knew you'd be thrilled. We're gonna gather more evidence, McGeorge. Pull a little recon into no man's land. Leonard, please. Walk with me, big guy. Every time I do, I get stuck in the hot seat. <laughs> Walk with me. Born, raised, and trapped! What are we? We're military brats! This is gonna get nuts. Can I help you? Uh, yes. My younger brother and myself are doing a research paper on contemporary communication in American society, with emphasis on its potential ramification to future neoclassic assemblages. Hmm. Yeah, right. Would you mind terribly if we were to take a look around at your data systems? Corporal Thomas, you want to take these two on a tour of the complex? Sure thing. Come this way, boys. And here we have your basic data banks with the non-classified code systems. Oh, no, 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 not a good idea. <laughs> and uh, right over here is where we keep all our software. You cover me. What's that? How's it work? Uh, this is the control processor. This does all the thinking for the whole center. anything. Oops, I haven't touched it. What's this? It's a broken data bank. What's that? Those are programming this. What's that? Oh, that's the console area. Hey, where'd that other kid go? To the bathroom. What's that? That's a waste paper basket. What's that? Oh, no. Bingo. got the table updates in this inventory. Now, if you'd like, I can check for you. It'll take a few minutes. Hey, hold it right there, you two. Yes, Sergeant? 
Did you kids find what you were looking for? Yes, Sergeant, we certainly did. Thank you. Okay. No, uh, just give me a few minutes. Fair. George, we're talking high security area. I got it, Leonard. Dude, the focus of this mission is to document the serial numbers of the DMDGs. Then we double back and cross-check. That's very interesting, Leonard, but I care more about my personal safety. What this is going to prove, Leonard. It's evidence, McGeorge. If we can match up the stolen radios with the serial numbers on these crates, we can gain some credibility. Okay, Leonard, we've got enough. Let's hightail it out of here. Kick back, McGeorge. Kick back? If they catch us in here, we'll be kicking back in the clink. They'll have us painting addresses on curbs again. Glory is not without risk. Okay, Leonard, I didn't mean it. I'll stay. Will you mellow out, McGeorge? I'm just gonna use it to open the crate. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. What is it? Digital message device group. <clears throat> Newest communication gear in the field. This is what those crooks are after. Sorry to spoil a love affair, but we gotta make tracks. Yeah. the soldiers of misfortune. Caught in the area that's off limits. Off limits? You don't know anything about any off limits area, do you, McGeorge? Sure don't, Leonard. Hey, you see that? <laughs> you guys made a mistake. Catch you guys later. <laughs> Not so fast, Kinsey. You got a lot of explaining to do. Bluebird, this is Sparrowhawk. We got a security violation in sector K-26. Request assistance on the double. 10-4. Must be nice when your dad's big wig on base. Yeah, too bad the boy's got an acne problem or maybe develop into something. Oh, you're real cute, Kinsey. No, you can blame that one on my parents. Look, we're getting real sick and tired of you brat patrols getting away with murder around here. You know what you guys need? Ship to Maui? Well, not quite, Kahuna. What's this? Just a grenade. A what? <laughs> You say you found these two in the security sector? Yes, sir, General. We rolled on the call the minute we got it from the junior Marines. Anything else, Corporal? Yes, sir. Found this on the Thank you. That'll be all, Corporal. <clears throat> so. You two have reverted to trespassing and chocolate grenades, huh? Look, I can explain, sir. Your attention! 
Now, don't you realize that grenades, chocolate, or otherwise are dangerous? Grenade, hit the gun! Holy cow, what was that? Good reactions, men. Keep up the good work. Outstanding. All right, ladies, knock it off. As I was saying, I'm a very busy man, gentlemen. I have an air station to run. Yet time and time again, I find myself having to contact parents because of some wild prank that's pulled by the Brat Patrol. Perhaps Junior Marine Newmeyer could shed some light on your behavior. Hmm? Well, sir, as I see it, the Brat Patrol has no discipline, maintains a total lack of direction, and generally disregards regulations. Thank you, Charles. Now, take a good look, gentlemen. Here's a group of young people who are going places. I look forward to their presence at the Youth Service Awards on Sunday. You guys parking cars again this year? They're not car hops, Mr. Kinsey. They are community leaders, tough, dedicated, strong. What can they get girls? Girls. There are more important things in life than girls, gentlemen. Sometimes. Community service. Gee, Leonard, it's been a terrific day. Whatever happened to that speech you gave about international intrigue and danger? This is adventurous, McGeorge. You think they let just anyone work with this kind of equipment? You want international flavor, you got it. This sponge was made in Brazil, OK? And that mop you got there, it was made in Taiwan. Taiwan, McGeorge, I'm talking Asia. Hey, how's it going, boys? Terrific, Major. Just about to pop open another can of cleanser. From Europe. It's not a job. It's an adventure. Well, I hate to spoil your fun, but how would you guys like to get out of this little adventure? What do we have to do? How's about trying a little honesty, like telling me what you two guys were doing in that high security area yesterday? That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. We were gathering evidence. Evidence? Yes, evidence against the guys in the van we told you about. Oh, come on, not this again, boys, please. Truth, Major. Oh, like your luncheon with a leprechaun? Hey, that little fella could really eat. Yeah, I know, Kinsey. You stung me with the tab. The guy turned out to be a monkey in a green suit. Whoop. The guy's gonna have to stop spreading these wild stories around the base. You're scaring people to death. Last month, when he had the cattle drive through the general's backyard party, it almost caused a stampede. It was a Western rodeo. Western barbecue. You're supposed to eat cows there, McGeorge, not ride them. I'd like to help you guys out, but first, you're gonna have to help yourselves. Screen's in place, Leonard.
approximately 11.30 yesterday morning, Operative Squeaker and I entered the base computer center and gained access to its data systems. We ran the description of the van, came up with a name and address. Brunel Brothers Salvage and Wrecking, 176 South Montecito Boulevard. They do good work for reasonable rates and seem to stick to the basics, Bug. Seems Brunel Brothers are some pretty rough characters. Before they went into the auto repair business, they owned a liquor store. Got their license revoked for selling to minors. And here's where it gets real interesting. Before they owned that liquor store, they ran a military surplus store down in Ridgemont. Seems the Brunel brothers were put out of business by Uncle Sam. The ATF had them under investigation for selling weapons. What kind of weapons? The automatic kind. Does that van look familiar? Hey, that's the one we saw going into the warehouse. Precisely. Looks like the Burnell brothers are involved in a little more than just dents. Good work, Bug. Well, my own base investigation proved positive, too, guys. I spotted this vehicle parked in front of the PX, and it matches the same one we saw parked by the warehouse the other day. And this is the man who was driving it. Now, I did some checking on him, and he's got clearance into the warehouse, and he was on duty that day. Are you sure? Yeah, I checked the work status shift in my dad's office. If he finds out, he'll kill me. Nice work, Darla. It's not looking too hot, gang. We got a lot of evidence, but it's still not enough to put Phillips and his pals in the slammer. Maybe we should go back to our parents. Maybe they'll believe us now. No, I already tried that. They made me mow the lawn again. The time for action on our parts is now, gang. For years, the Brat Patrol has been laughed at, kicked around, and made to feel like children. Not anymore. We are going to draw the Burnell brothers out into the open and trap them in their own dirty game. But, Leonard, it's dangerous. Dangerous by the lamp. Let's go back, Kinsey. Take your hands off him. Hey, get back there. Please let him go. Let him go. These aren't going anywhere. <laughs> You guys thought you were going to set us up, huh? Well, you've been reading too many comic books. Go out, Burnett Why don't you just let the kid go, Phil? He doesn't know anything. Sure. So he can run to Daddy and bring back Hackett in the heat? Not a chance. Looks like you kids are stuck. Finished. Finito. Compute. This is going to be the end of Brat Patrol. Hey. Hey, what's with all the blinking? Allergies. Yeah, well, knock it off, okay? You're making me real nervous here. My dad, he's a master sergeant, and he'll come looking for us. Oh, sure, sweet pea. But by that time, I'm gonna be long gone. You know something, Phillips? You're a rude dude. <laughs> That's right. But I'm gonna be a rich one. <laughs> Get it? Rich and rude? <laughs> Sorry, Phillips. You've tangled with the wrong set of hombres. Way to go, guys. Good job, Squeak. Okay, now pull it really tight. I let him breathe. Okay, but not much. What next, Leonard? Okay. Now all we're gonna do is find a way to trap the Brunel brothers in the warehouse. Find something they can't say no to. You mean like some digital message device groups with data burst capabilities? Data bursts? Oh, come on, where are we gonna find one of those? Well, maybe we won't have to. Maybe we could invent one. I suppose I could come up with a reasonable facsimile. Forget it, you guys don't have the nerve to pull this off. Ah! How soon do you think you could have one ready by? Mm, by this afternoon. Great. Now all we have to do is get in contact with them. But, Leonard, they'll never go for it. They don't have to actually see us, just talk to us. That's where McGeorge comes in. Hey, wait a minute. Don't play young with us, McGeorge. We know you're heavy into puberty. Everyone knows you got the deepest voice out of all of us. I'm also going to be in the deepest trouble if this thing goes wrong. 
Forget it, Leonard. They'll never buy it. Not if they talk to McGeorge, but they will if they think they're talking to... An adult. Your amplified voice enhancer, Bug, you're a genius. I know, Leonard. Later, Gator. Yeah, ah. Daddy. That's negative thinking, McGeorge. Brunel, brothers. What happened? Wrong number. So let me try. No, no. I can't expect you to pull this off. It's a job for someone with a cool vocabulary and nerves of steel. Check them shocks, too, while you're at it. Sure. Brunel, brothers. Yeah, hi, he's not there. You're talking to him. Who's this? The name's Stinger. Johnny Stinger. Well, we got a mutual friend. Uh, what friend? A guy by the name of Sergeant Phillips. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, pal. I don't know anybody named Phillips. Well, sure you do, Knife. He works security detail down at the air station. Told us to give you a call. You see, we deal in hardware, the high-tech kind. Who's we? Oh, well, my partner and I, Snake. <laughs> Your partner's got a funny name. Yeah, well, it's a funny business. Look, uh, we got some DMDGs. Are you interested? Well, if they're genuine. But uh, I don't deal with anybody I don't know. Hey, you want me to hang up? It could be real easy. Hey, nothing's easy in this game, pal. Look, uh, you can see him today at the warehouse this afternoon. That plan's out. You bring him to me. Yeah, but the deal was... The deal's off. Now, if you want to do business, then you bring him to me tomorrow night. Now, I guess your boss really doesn't want those data bursts after all. Data bursts? You got data bursts? Nobody's got them. Yo, we do. A whole crate full. But no sweat. If you don't want them, I can just tell that to your boss the next time we see him, you know. Have fun swimming with the sharks. Uh, all right. All right. We'll meet you out there this afternoon, just like you said. Great. See you then. Oh, uh, Stinger. Yeah? The data burst better be real, or you're going to be real dead. Gas up the van. I'm going to tell you, piece of cake. I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna attach it down here, Leonard. Hey, tighten up on the wire, McGeorge. Hey, Bug, how much more stuff do we have to rig? We're almost there. Not now, Squeak, I'm busy. Those damn DGs? Yeah, I get it. Philip steals the radios from the high security warehouse, then he brings them over here and he stashes them. Good work, Squeak. Leonard, we've got to talk. Hey, tank 10, McGeorge. I'm pumping up the little fella. One day, you and I are going to ride the big ones at YMA, buddy. Get lost. Leonard, if my parents find out we borrowed their video camera, I'll be grounded for a month. You relax, it's for a good cause. Good cause? My father will good cause me right over the head. I don't think they won't appreciate your tremendous personal sacrifice. Leonard, he'll murder me. It's a tough, lonely world. I still don't understand how this whole setup is supposed to work. Hey, Bug, we film in on this? It's quite simple, actually. When the thieves enter the warehouse, their vehicle will trigger the light sensor, which will activate the video camera up there. And those sets of trip wires are rigged to detonate these sulfur and manure charges, which in Manure charges? Stink bombs. 
Chinese Nung mercenaries have been using them for centuries with great success. When the charges go off, Squeaker will hit the lights, which will trigger the strobe blasts from these halogen bulbs. Strobe blasts? Fuck. To temporarily impair their vision. To give us ample time for our escape, whereupon we will lock them inside until the authorities arrive. Leonard, do you think Major Hackett will believe us? Of course. You're going to be wired for sound, buddy. We're going to have the entire transaction on tape. Wait a minute. That looks like my cassette recorder. <laughs> it is. Thanks, McGeorge. It's really good of you to let us use it. My clarinet lessons. A whole year of them down the drain. Sorry. There's one last thing I have to have, and I'll need some help getting it. Got it. Let's put this thing right together. Screwdriver. Pliers. Will you cheer up, McGeorge? It's not that bad. After tonight, you're going to feel like a million bucks. Right now, I feel like two cents. Not to start. This is going to be a cakewalk. I'm talking easier than the time we raided the bake sale. Don't remind me. I still haven't gotten the powdered sugar off my jump boots. After this is over, we're going to Hawaii, partner. You and me doing the hula with the cute girls on Waikiki. I sunburn easy, Leonard. It's more than a quick tan, McGeorge. I'm talking strolling the beach of life in a major way. I am talking shooting the curl of cool. Will you stop it already, Leonard? I'm getting seasick. Hey, Ray, two double chocolate shakes on my tab. Sorry, your credit's shot here, Leonard. No sweat, Ray, babe. Just uh, put them on McGeorge's tab. Thanks, pal. Here's some nice cling peaches on some Bartlett pears. They in there? Affirmative. Let's go pay him a little visit. Now! How's it going, Bug? Almost got it. I don't feel good about this, Leonard. I think we ought to go to Major Hackett right now and tell him what we're up to. And ruin our moment of triumph? You deny us that? This is our big chance, McGeorge. Well, for years, we've been looked down on, called rowdy and offensive and repugnant. But we are. Nobody's perfect. Look, we're doing this for America, for truth, justice, and all those ninth grade chicks are going to fall all over us. Ow! Don't look now, Romeo, but we've got problems. Well, well, if it isn't the stink pots. I thought I smelled something in here. Probably just your socks, Newmeyer. Look, I told you before you're going to pay for those wisecracks. You know what today is? What? Payday. Hey, look, I don't want any trouble in here, Chuck. Look, go play with the whipped cream, Ray. There's a private matter. You guys walk around here like you own this space. Like it's your own personal playground. We've had your moment of glory. And it's over. We're going to walk away with that youth service award today. Terrific. How about walking right now? Yeah, your feet smell. You know, I don't think I like the way you're dressed. No? I think you need something, uh, something a little more. Get the picture? Don't even think about it. I don't believe it. I can't take my eyes off the Brat Patrol for one minute without risking national security. Oh, we can explain, sir. Explain what, Mr. Kinsey? The youth center is a sea of tapioca. The little Peters girl was struck senseless by a scoop of pistachio. The Davis boy splattered with maraschino cherries. Never mind. What have you got to say for yourselves? Men in war do strange things, sir. Mm. They started the whole thing, Dad. I am not concerned with who started it, Charles. The point is that it never should have happened, and you are as responsible as the rest of them. Therefore, I'm volunteering all of you to clean up this mess and pay the damages. But, but, Dad! 
Take it easy, Chuck. Your face is breaking out. Charles, you and your men get squared away. The Youth Service Awards ceremony begins in three hours. Prompt. Dismissed. Stop. Not you. I'm not through with you yet. If I was worth half my salt, I'd have your fathers down here and read the riot act of them. Unfortunately, with Secretary Atwood here, I don't have time. Therefore, until I do have time, you are confined to quarters indefinitely. Is that understood? Are you going to clean me up? Hmm. Major Hackett, see that all parents are informed. Aye, aye, sir. doing here? I'm grounded. Your parents said you were too, for three years. Well, you can't ground the Brat Patrol. Now, come on, we're burning daylight. What are you guys up to? We're gonna pull off that sting, McGeorge, with the General's blessings or not. Are you bonkers? If they catch us this time, they'll transfer our parents for sure. That's why we're doing it, McGeorge, so they can't hang that over our heads anymore. So we can live like free individuals in a just and peaceful democracy. Dedicated. Take five, folk. We got the picture. McGeorge, come on. No way, I'm not going. Ready for sound check. Never thought a video game could sound so good, huh? We're talking Fear Factor of 10. I love it. Plus, I've added an amp to your voice enhancer so you'll have more volume. Great. Here, buddy, you want to plug this in? What am I doing here? Should be home in bed, studying Spanish. But this is adventurous. What's so adventurous about death, Leonard? Because that's what's going to happen to me when my parents find out I'm gone. That's a very positive attitude. Bug, I think it's about time you man your post. Got it. Darla. It's all quiet up here, Leonard. Testing, one, two, testing, testing. Testing, one, two, three. Hey, Squeak, come here. Okay, now one blink means... I know, get ready. Right. Two blinks means to flip this switch. You got it? Are you sure? I got it, I got it. Okay. <sighs> oh, this is so rad. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel nauseous. Here they come, Leonard! All right, everybody get in your places and nobody make a move until the deal's completed. Come on. How do I look? Man is about to die. Sweat it. We had to duck some of your friends on the outskirts of the base. Where are you? I'm here. Well, uh, why don't you come on out here where I can get a look at that pretty mug of yours? The view's foreign from here, thanks. Let's do business.
really like that band, Mr. Secretary. Oh, splendid, General. One of the best I've heard in ages. Excellent. <laughs> this better be genuine. Don't worry. It is. DG. I like it, Stinger. Just what my boss is looking for. Now, where's the data burst? In the crate right next to you. Joe. Hey, load up here. There's plenty more of those where they came from. He's gonna have to deal with me directly. Is that so? Let's see this thing here. Try, short stack, but now you're history. You touch this knife and you're dead meat, you shark bait. Yeah? Let go. And so are you, shrimpy. Gentlemen. Mr. 
Mr. Secretary, you're going to be thrilled by this group of young people coming up. Secretary and members of the press. We've come to that time of year again when we must pay recognition to the most outstanding group of young people here at Marine Corps Air Station El Diablo. A group that time and again have come to the aid of others. Look sharp, man. This is the big one. Special meeting to me. Get down, get down! Whoa! Hey! We 
we supposed to salute? We're very proud of these young men because they represent the very best in America today. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give a rousing welcome to this year's Youth Service Award winners. Your Time to accept design, that award, the gentlemen. one achievers this year. Oh, Future no. Off. Is that those guys again? Here they are. It's Kinsey. The pride of El Diablo. This guy is a very escort. Newmeyer, if this is your idea of some kind of a surprise party, I'm not impressed. Mr. Secretary, please. If you just have a little patience, I'll explain everything. Oh. Mr. Kinsey, your history. Now, as of now, you and the Brat Patrol are barred from this installation instantly, immediately, permanently. I can explain, sir. Uh, don't believe him, General. Sir, I caught these juvenile delinquents in a felonious act. General, of this man and his band of crooks have been ripping off the Marines. Would you like me to arrest these juvenile delinquents, sir? Immediately. Look, General, you've got to believe us. We got the crooks and the goods. You're going to get away. They're just kids, Pardon me, General. General. They're lying through their teeth. I believe their story. What? Give them a chance to explain themselves, to prove themselves, sir. What they're saying is true. It's certainly worth looking into, General. Sir, this is just a waste of time. Well, it's better be on the level. Gentlemen, no. It's right over here, General Newmeyer. Uh, sir, uh, these kids, they're, they're just leaving you on a wild goose chase. We'll see about that. This is ridiculous, General. I mean, who are you listening to? These kids, they're just, they'll say anything. Check this out, dudes. Uh, General, sir. Well, General. Major, arrest that man. Cuff him. Uh, please! Son, General, I owe you all an apology, please. as well as a debt of thanks. You've performed a tremendous task here today. In fact, you've made us all very proud. So much so, I can't wait for you to volunteer for some more community service. Now, now what did you say the name of your organization was? <clears throat> the Brat Patrol, sir. You're a punk! You're gonna pay, Kinsey. You're gonna pay. Oh, cool out, Hodad. Get your hands off me, jarhead. Then get those guys out of the cab. Wish we had a radio on here. <laughs> Would have been nice. It isn't often that I get the privilege of presenting an award to such a deserving group of young people as we have here today. The Brat Patrol has proven itself to be a true asset here at El Diablo Air Base. And hence is the recipient of this year's Youth Service Award. Congratulations. Rat Patrol! 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 Woo! Yeah, right. Well, there's not a whole lot a guy can say at a time like this. But I'd like to thank the little people who made today possible. Thanks, guys. You know, there comes a time in every man's life when he's got to take a good look at himself and say, hey, you're pretty darn terrific. Maybe I say that to myself every morning. But being a surf dude, it isn't all chicks and beach parties. Something more. Something. <laughs> good work, Squeak. Great. Thanks, Squeak. <laughs>